In early October 2017, rumors began circulating about a potential Supreme and Akira collaboration. In a televised interview, series writer and director of the famous 1989 film, Katsuhiro Otomo, announced that he had finally agreed to do a co-branded project with Supreme. The news brought instant hype to the anime and Supreme community alike. True to Supreme's elusive nature, there was no official statement by the brand after this interview. However, a few weeks later, a red Fiat 500 branded with Supreme and Akira logos was spotted in front of Colette Paris. This art project was created to bring awareness and attention for the collaboration, and boy did it work. Apart from this guerrilla marketing, the newly registered Akira 2018 web domain redirected to Supreme's official web store, further cementing the legitimacy of this project. And then finally, on October 30th, the day before Halloween, Supreme releases a very comprehensive lookbook on the upcoming collaboration, 39 pages showing styling and official shots of the collab, with pieces including fishtail parkas, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and trays to go along with it. And then also, a 1 minute and 23 second video about the series author explaining how Akira came to be. Let's watch. それはだから、そんな長い話になるけど、その、それで鉄道がそのドラッグをやりながら非常に破壊的になっていって、こういう社会の中に入っていない、または出てしまった人間たちの方がやっぱ書いてて面白いっていうのはありますけどね。それは俺たちもそうだったみたいに、今の若い奴らも自分で探さなきゃいけないじゃないですか。俺たちが何言
The third design is the candy panel that depicts Tetsuo's drug use throughout the movie. While not explained in the film, Kaneda's crew, the capsules, were named after their favorite drugs they like to take. Supreme also added another subtle logo to the pill that Tetsuo remarks tastes just like candy. Like the syringe design, the candy panel found its way onto a ceramic plate. I personally don't own this item, but I absolutely would not recommend eating off of it and would not put it in the dishwasher. I feel like this thing could get scrubbed off and you, you don't want your expensive uh, Supreme Akira plate to get ruined like that now, would you? The fourth design is the tragic panel that showcases Yamagata's death. Tetsuo, on his newfound quest of destruction, confronts a bar manager asking for capsules and then immediately kills him. Kaisuke and Yamagata end up confronting Tetsuo at the bar with the encounter ending up in a lethal fight with Yamagata slain. Uh, what's wrong? <sighs> He's dead! What? what? <laughs> huh? What's that? <laughs> Tetsuo? You blockhead! We've been looking all over for you! Well, well. You let them take me. We didn't have a choice! What the hell happened here? Somebody's killed the manager! <laughs> Kinda got carried away there. <laughs> uh, Tetsuo! You, you mean... You killed him? Huh? Kaneda sends his warmest regards. Kaneda? Where is he? I guess he must be dead now. You couldn't have. You wouldn't have. Tetsuo! It wasn't like that. But I do think he wanted me to have his bike. Shut up! Doesn't matter anymore. Tetsuo! And to add to the already tragic death, Supreme only utilized this design on a number of t-shirts. While they do look great, and I really like the fact that they dressed Yamagata in a box logo, I personally think they could have substituted some of the duplicated designs from earlier and thrown our boy Yamagata on a hoodie or maybe a work jacket. Maybe it was just due to the fact that Yamagata was killed off screen in the film. I don't know. Our boy could not catch a break. The fifth and final design is another violent one, being the arm panel from the climactic battle between Kaneda and Tetsuo. During their fight, the military uses a space laser in an attempt to neutralize Tetsuo, but only manage to blow off his arm. The, these designs really got a lot more passionate as going on, starting off with simple drug use, and I get the bomb going off is pretty violent, but really gets culminated in these final two designs showing the death and tragedy of Akira. This collection is, is really great. You have fantastic designs, an iconic anime film, and then you have Supreme's unique touches. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I put a lot of time and effort into editing and researching for this video, so please, Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, I'm going to still try to get up one video per week. Thank you guys so much and have an awesome day. Oh, oh, oh!